You may recognize this spoon from a video. In fact, my very first and very worst video in which I carved this spoon. Now, at the end of this video, I was eating a bowl of cereal with it in not this bowl, but a porcelain one bought from probably Sam's Club. But ever since I made that video, it has always bugged me that I was using this cold stone bowl, something with no sentimental value, no connection, something that I didn't make and I didn't know who made it or what made it. So you might be wondering, why didn't you just use a bowl that you turned on the lathe yourself or made some other way yourself? Well, because I didn't have one. Not exactly, anyway. You see, this here is in fact the first bowl I ever turned, and I did turn it almost a year before making the first video in which I you know, carved this spoon. But it's not really a great cereal bowl at this point. It's not really a finished bowl, in fact, for a couple of reasons. Number one being, when I made it, I only had two tools at my disposal. At the time of turning the bowl, I had this uh, bowl gouge, uh, which I don't think I had broken and taped back together at the time. Um, and then I had this uh, parting tool, which I made myself, um, and that's why it's not good. And the other main reason why it's so thick and chunky is that it was green wood at the time I turned it. So I left it pretty hefty so that it wouldn't really warp and crack and destroy itself over time. But it's been at least a year and so now it's dried and it's pretty solid uh, without much warpage I must say. But, that means at this time, I can easily bring it down to be much thinner and really a much nicer shape without worrying about it cracking or warping as it dries out in the future. So, I'm going to go Frank Howarth on you and say, I rough turned this bowl about a year ago out of some Bradford pear that fell down in my neighbor's yard. And now, it has dried and is ready to be finished. Now, currently the bowl is about 3 eighths of an inch thick at the rim and probably close to half or even 3 quarters of an inch down near the bottom. Um, so I have plenty of room to play and I will be able not only to make it a little thinner but also to change the shape of the bowl just a little bit. Now that I've got the outside mostly shaped the way I want it, time to move on to the inside. Uh-oh. So, uh... If you can't see, there is a crack that formed in the bowl. Unfortunately, a crack appeared in the bowl while I was turning the inside. So that does mean it won't be very good for my cereal anymore, but it's actually not too terrible because it just so happens I really don't like soup. You eat it, it's like... and all the broth will drain out, and I'll just be left with all the good stuff. So, it's 
actually not too bad. The only really complaint that I have about this crack is that because of it, I'm afraid to sand on the lathe because, you know, I might catch my hand or the sandpaper in the crack and that could lead to this breaking apart. So I'll try to hand sand it, but I'm not really that great at hand sanding. So it probably won't end up with the best surface finish, but oh well. Lastly, to finish it, I'm actually going to use the same finish that I did on my spoon, which is sunflower oil. Unfortunately, I'm not eating cereal out of this bowl. So I guess the project was really a complete failure because I did not get what I was aiming for. But, on the bright side, next time I have to eat soup, I can just put it into this bowl and the broth will drain out the crack, and then I won't really have to eat soup after all, will I?